All right, so this is the 2023 BMW 330e xDrive. This is gonna just be a brief walk around, go over some of the features in the interior as well as exterior. And uh, we'll start with the color. This is the Skyscraper Gray Metallic. Does have the M Sport package, so it has the air intakes through the middle and functional vents to the side as well. This is the LCI, which means it is a refresh, not necessarily a generation change, but a refresh. So the grills got a little bit larger, the headlights a little bit different, they are LEDs. Coming to the side, it does have the bicolor 19 inch wheels. Bridgestone's on there. This is an e-car, so that means that it has a, it's a hybrid, so it has a plug-in, plug it in right there. You got your side profile. Part of the M Sport package includes the black trim around the windows instead of the chrome looking trim. Come in the rear, slightly new rear bumper as part of the LCI. Do have like the black throughout, small little diffuser. And it is X drive, like I said, so it's all wheel drive. And a little bit of blue accents hinting that it is a hybrid vehicle. And then the E meaning that it is a plug-in hybrid. There's your fuel door as all regular BMWs have. And has a little badge that says electrified. Aye, aye. So we'll go ahead and hop in. It does have the comfort access keyless entry so you just you know lock the car by pressing down. And then to unlock it you just put your hand on it. Interior is the black perforated sensor tech. That's what the seat looks like. It looks very close to leather. It has little perforations in it as well. We just got this car off the truck a few days ago, so there's still some plastics and stuff on the car. We'll go ahead and hop in. This is your overall interior layout. It has the new infotainment system as part of iDrive 8, so the full curved screen with a 12.3 inch here and a 13.2 inch here. It has heads up display. And start buttons down here. Go ahead and start it up. So the range right now, it has 30 miles of electric range here. The gas is right there. There's not much gas left in here. And then that's what your gauge cluster looks like. You got your screen here, which is touch screen, or you can use the iDrive control that we've had in multiple cars. You can use that, it has the map. Apple CarPlay, Android Auto included in there. That's a standard feature there. It has the aluminum trim. So I'm gonna put this down here, you can kind of see the trim. The shifter's a little bit different. So for LCIs, the only difference is you just this little lever here instead of an actual knob. So you move it down the drive, reverse would be up, your camera pops up there, and then park is just a button. Pretty simple. You've got your speed limit information there. You have different drive modes that change the way the gauge cluster looks. Take a look in the back. Decent space, I mean, not a lot going on. It's a three series, but there's your kind of overall cabin from the back seat. Got your sunroof, which is standard. Fairly large sunroof, which is nice. Not panoramic, but pretty nice. 
you got a third zone down here for climate control ambient lighting throughout the interior as well you can change the colors and stuff through the iDrive system and we're gonna go to the trunk this is a little little situation in the trunk with all the hybrid cars because the hybrid motors in the back these are the mats that comes with the car so this is your trunk space right now because the electric motor sits right down there it is less than a regular gas powered car um, if you want to maximize your space you have a little bit of space underneath, but if you pull this thing up, move it down, you actually have more space. But if you need to carry something longer or just need more flat surface, you just pull it up and then you sit it like that. And then the seats do fold down, kind of help with practicality. So I'll show you the window sticker. It's kind of what it's what it's got on it so like i said it's a skyscraper gray black perforated it's a brand new 2023 by the way m4 package 19 inch wheels premium heated steering wheel um heads up display is part of that as well and then you got all your included options down below msrp is 51 365 mpg best case you can get 68 if you have always gas in the car and you plug it in every single day um, 68 is the top you can get. I mean, that's, you know, if you do everything perfectly. 26 is just on gas only, if you never plug it in at all. The 48 down below is what you can see, which you will be able to see if you just plug it in a decent amount of time and you, you know, normal, normally. So it's still really good. And then, um, yeah. Overall, $50,000 car gets you 60 miles per gallon. All wheel drive, the newest tech, not bad. But this is the walk around on the car. Thanks for watching.